How would you feel if the only thing we knew about presidential candidates was their stance on issues, no information on party, name, gender, race, or religious beliefs, or lack thereof? Would it be based on their actual stance, or what they claim is their stance? How do you verify which is which? Voting history. They'd lie even more, to get elected, than they do now. I, Bloomberg a 33 years old 6'4 plus 240 pounds blonde guy with blue eyes, six packs and mixed parents would never do such a thing. I know this is just a joke but I'm pretty sure you have to be at least 35 years old to run for president, which just makes the joke better. You should look up the philosophical thought experiment called the veil of ignorance. It poses a similar question, you have to look at all political, economic, and social ideas without knowing what your socio-economic position is. E. Pasting the reply from you slash you can't arm a good woman to give a more accurate description of the experiment, popularly attributed to American philosopher John Rawls. You have to look at all that and then design a society that you would want to live in. But, the catch is, you don't know what your position will be. You might be at the bottom, you might be at the top. The idea is that you'll try to make the society as equitable as possible. Kind of like the kid who cuts the cake doesn't get to pick his slice. Dot. An example of this in fiction is from the Doctor Who 50th anniversary special day of the Doctor in which two negotiators have their memories wiped. The theory being that they will negotiate a treaty that is fair to all parties, as each negotiator doesn't know which party they belong to. A bow today I fucked up example of political theory. It should be like the blind auditions on The Voice. The choice, who's gonna run this bitch? The best bullshitter wins, not that that changes much, but without anything to hold them accountable to their statements and commitments it's just a mess. God this is such a reddit post. How would you feel if our slash ask reddit band leading questions that begin with how would you feel? I mean for one, it isn't plausible, but also the ability to be social is important for a leader. Yes, this, a president isn't just a person whose views we support, it's also their political talent. They have to interact with other leaders, stay calm under pressure, give good speeches, etc etc. Exactly, it bothers me when people act like policies are the only thing that matters when it comes to these things. Like, are you really gonna tell me the only important differences between Trump and Obama are their differing opinions on taxation, gun control, and a couple other policies, and their differences in personality and methods of discourse are completely irrelevant? I think we need to know more than just the policies. I want to know if they're just saying things for votes or if there's proof of them actually trying to do what they say. It's all very well saying war is bad, but are you actually protesting against wars, or just saying it's bad, as an example? That would be useless, just words on a page. Everyone would jockey to write the most pandering words on a page, you need to know who those words are coming from. Their background, you need to see how genuine they are when they make those promises out loud. No, because things like leadership ability and integrity matter. Lamau at all the supportive comments, it's really one of the dumbest idea I've ever read about elections. You realize a person can lie about their stance right? Okay so now you have 400 candidates who all say their stance is whatever is highest polling, or a slight variation thereof. Some might be true believers in those reforms but most just take those positions cynically to get elected. Anyone can fake a stance. You need all of it to know if you are being lied to or not. And even then most people can't tell the difference. Strongly dislike this idea. I view character and integrity as equally important to policy positions and without knowing anything else about the candidate, I can't evaluate these traits. I'd be happy if the early primary simply involved a basic civics contest and the person who scores the lowest is automatically disqualified from running. No way that's an awful idea. You need accountability and resumes. Whoops voted for Hitler. Dumb. We would be governed by AI. In the UK during the time of the recent general election there was a site sort of like this principle that gave you the initiative to vote based upon policy rather than party. It was basically just a question on a certain issue such as climate change and then would show various options for solutions slash ideas and by the end would show you the party whose policies you sided with the most. A good idea in my opinion as many simply write off their preferred party's rival without looking at the possible positives of their ideas and could also help those who are disengaged from politics due to the drama of it all to actually see the facts and see what they side with the most. Trump would have won even harder, 
the only reason why some of his party does not like him is because he's a dick. If this fact was hidden from them, all anyone would see is lower taxes, and increased border security. Those are both things that are very popular in America. Nah, we need their name. What if a Google search reveals they're a ventriloquist or taxidermist? Can't have that. 